Thank you, Peter. That's definitely the most fun speech I've heard from the head of a bank. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So um, this is now the moment uh, when we think about. I go. I, I, I'm going to try and walk you through what's um, waiting ahead of you, uh, what you should expect to experience during this weekend. When we started in 2009, we had a very clear and precise message in our minds. Uh, we wanted to upgrade the value of Estonian music and Estonia in general. Uh, we started out with that in mind, but uh, as things go along and years have passed, already seven years have passed, and I'm personally always shocked when somebody reminds me that it's already the seventh year, um, we've grown in uh, quite many directions, which is, um, I can't say that this is something we planned from the start, but it's just things happen and this is the brilliant uh, way of creativity. Uh, we've grown into, starting by being a music festival, we've grown into a city festival with um, something uh, very specific in mind. Creativity is the thing we focus on. We want to, you lovely people who arrive in Tallinn or in Estonia, I hope not only once a year, but uh, more often. Uh, the reason why we decided to offer you everything we like about Estonia, be it then the restaurants, the chefs, um, the arts, the design. Um, we show you people's homes and art galleries and design studios within our city states pro program. We grew into a festival that um, has the attempt to show everything that we Estonians love about Estonia, but also at the same time we became an in international event that this year is hosting 205 uh, artists and bands from uh, 26 different countries. They come from as far as Cambodia to um, Serbia, Sweden, Denmark, America, Canada, absolutely from all around the places. And to our great surprise, it was just only last week when uh, our team sort of by accident realized that, wow, it was the New York Times who in their weekly recommendations, uh, there is this part of the program that they have uh, called What's Going On in the World This Week. They recommended all the people amongst other five places where to go to, they recommended them to come to Tallinn, to Tallinn Music Week. So that was a great surprise to us as well. But talking about creativity, and this is something that we talk a lot in here, it has been my clear message and something that I think is a mission to all in our team to say that uh, creativity really is the engine for societies and economies and countries. It uh, makes the cities better, the countries better. It gives content to all the products and services that we have in our greater businesses. So I think we're dealing with something which is um, not only um, a musical event, but we're dealing with something which is crucial for our society. Um, but also, I want to also point out that the foundation of creativity always lies within a deeper layer of values, which are equal rights, freedom of speech, human rights in general. An open and tolerant society which passionately is supportive of every single human being is uh, basically the basis of a successful society. That has been a message that uh, we want to uh, show and sort of spotlight. When last year we were talking about freedom of speech a lot in the context of having Prost Pussy Riot here, then this year we have a bit of an another agenda. Uh, we want to put a focus on some of the very cl uh, clever and talented women in the business because I personally got tired of hearing that the uh, music industry is a very masculine business and mainly male driven. Um, we want to highlight some of the brilliant women. And uh, in the program, after this part finishes here, you're going to um, see the interview with the legendary Will Valbert Viv Albertine from The Slits. Uh, they started as a girl punk band in the 70s, and her story is going to be definitely super interesting. We will host an interview with Marie Dimberg, uh, the manager of Roxette, 
artist and uh, she's been considered one of the most influential women in the music industry in Sweden in general. Our dear friend Anna Hildur will um, uh, uh, interview, her, interview her and also I'm going to be hosting a panel here uh, with a collection of amazing women. One of them, um, Anna Erm, I could say that she's the cornerstone of Estonian f uh, festival culture. It's a lady who has been running a festival here in Estonia for 26 years. It's called Jaskar, and we all respect her hugely. And uh, in general, I personally have to say that um, two of the most inspiring uh, people in this business for me personally are women. This is Paulina Aukas, who's sitting there. Um, I cannot not point this out, how clever this woman is. Uh, now the head of Tampere Dalo, and Anna Hildur, you, who you will be seeing later on as well. I'm just really uh, fortunate and happy to be able to know these people. What else are we talking about? We already talked about, um, uh, the president in his speech mentioned it as well, but indeed, I think it's a good way of celebrating that a talent exchange program that uh, is still being called the Central Eastern European program is in fact in 2016 finally merging into the European talent exchange program. I'm looking at Ruud in front of me there, uh, who's the head of Eurosonic. And I think this is the moment when we all have to agree that the term that we have been calling Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe is now officially expired. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> so I think it's um, it's about time that we start talking about um, Europe as one Europe. We do not need specific prefixes to refer to any part of Europe. And to highlight that, we concentrate on many interesting markets within this conference. Uh, Poland, we talk about Austria. There's a dedicated panel also on the positive side of what is going on in Russia today. Some of the dedicated and really good people are going to be in on that panel as well. Uh, and last night we were able to kick off the festival with two opening parties. Uh, we had a spot on Denmark and we're really proud to host the uh, biggest ever selection of bands out of Denmark this year. And uh, another Brilliant fact, a uh, southern Estonian small village called Obinitsa is uh, carrying the title of the capital culture of Finno-Ugri nations this year. Uh, what this means is it's 25 million people in the world who belong into the Finno-Ugri cultural, um, well, nationalities basically. So this is another focus that we're celebrating. It's music as a cultural experience in all its variety. And this is exactly why we include passionately all the music genres into our program as well. We always have classical music included, jazz music, folk, um, pop rock dance, absolutely everything. And we encourage all of you to go and see some of the shows and bands and music genres that you might normally not even maybe um, uh, go to these shows. Um, I'm especially proud um, and grateful this year, as the president was pointing out as well, that uh, I've thought about it myself a lot, that we talk about um, uh, the public sector a lot, and uh, we sometimes are very frustrated um, that, the, that the public sector doesn't um, move so dynamically and quickly as we would want in our, our, in our companies and private sector. I think it's time for us to realize that uh, it has to be indeed the private sector, us, the companies, the entrepreneurs, who drive the industry, who drive the society, who drive the country. Um, I think we really do have a leading role in that. And if the public sector is slower, then that's totally natural. We can move fast, we can be dynamic, we can sh lead the way and then we can make things move. I really do believe in that. And this is why I am indeed especially grateful for those private companies who have decided to uh, work with us, uh, invest in us. Uh, some of those companies uh, are very visible this always, and we're happy to have them visible. Some of the companies and private initiatives this year, uh, uh, they just wanted to help. They didn't even want anything in return. 
and that is particularly moving to me. Uh, thank you. But yeah, I am super grateful for our team. People constantly ask, uh, wow, no, now it's on the seventh year. Is it uh, getting easier now? Uh, I don't know why or how it never gets easier, but it doesn't. <laughs> and uh, I'm just super grateful for our team who's been putting up with all the pressure and uh, deadlines and loads of work. Thank you. Uh, I'm always super grateful for a design company, Akku. Uh, the design is an integral part of uh, the music festival, and I think it should be to all of the creative events. If we want to do the best music event, we have to have the best creative people involved in that, be it designers or interior designers or the company called Haiku, who made ourselves a new uh, website uh, that got awarded immediately. So this is all super inspiring for ourselves. So thank you to Nordea Bank for caring about the society and the culture in, Eso in Estonia. Thanks to Nordic Hotel Forum that has been the home for us since we started in 2009. And uh, Felix Mag Magus and uh, Gersti Vaino were the first people who started believing in us. To Estonian mobile phone at AMT for in general uh, investing into Estonian music. Uh, thanks to Info Auto so we can drive those wonderful fancy Volvo cars. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and Tuborg and Saku as well who has been supporting us continuously. And as soon as uh, you're already back in the foyers at 11 o'clock, a brand new initiative um, called WIRE is our new uh, partner. And why we're super excited about that is that WIRE uh, is a new uh, digital tool uh, that is uh, for people who have been uh, using Skype, for example, and all of you know that Skype was our partner. Some of the brilliant minds uh, who started Skype, in fact, are now in behind the wire as well. It's an, an Estonian initiative, but a very international company. Uh, communication tool for people who value design, elegance, privacy. It's a delicate and very visually attractive tool. And this is how we will communicate uh, with all of you once you all download the wire into your laptop and your phone, and you're gonna find out all the festival news and everything that I do, uh, I'm gonna put on wire this year. <laughs> but um, first of all, of course, we will communicate directly, uh, face to face. That's what this event is about. Um, I'm so happy to see you all here. I'm truly glad to see old friends, new friends, everybody. Um, and I think now is the time to say that the conference has officially kicked off. And I want all of you to have so much fun and meet co good people. And I want to see only happy faces this weekend. Thanks. Thank